Are you still here? It is time for the word. It is time for the word. It is time for the word. And tonight we're going to talk about legacies. All right. Tonight we're going to talk about legacies. It is nine o'clock on this beautiful Thursday evening. And our thought for the day is legacies. I just want to share this real quick with you tonight. Legacies. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith. All right. I have kept the faith. Legacies. Legacies. You ready for this word? <laughs> All right. Let me share this real quick with you. Real, 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 real quick. Legacies. All right. We collect so many things during our time here on earth. Um, relationships, knowledge, experiences, belongings whatever stage of life we're at it's important to think about what we will leave behind one day all right we need to think about what we will be leaving behind one day as first timothy 6 and verse 7 reminds us we brought nothing into the world and we can take nothing out of it it becomes our responsibility to figure out how how our earthly things can be passed on spoke to a friend of mine today and she said she gave everything to her brother you know she signed up everything to her, her, her little brother I like that I like that it is our responsibility our, our responsibility to find out or figure out how our earthly things can be passed on. So I was telling her, I need a big sister like you. Because she signed off everything to him. That if anything should happen to her, her brother should get this or her brother should get that. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it. I need a big sister. Although it's not always easy. It's not always easy to follow through with it. Leaving a legacy through our money and belongings is a fairly clear thing to do. Proverbs 13 and verse 22 reminds us that good people, good people leave an inheritance to their grandchildren. Hmm. I hope the grandparents are listening. The Bible said it, not me, not me, not me, not me. Good people leave an inheritance to their grandchildren. <laughs> Good stewardship means that you and I should share whatever we have generously with those that we love and those that we that, that and those who need it actually rather than pouring it into useless or vain things. But what about the wisdom? What about knowledge? And what about our experiences grown? throughout our lives there's a great godly tradition of making sure that those important truths get passed on from generation to generation it's important very important for me to tell my son about my dad and my granddad it's very important for me to allow him to understand certain traditions of our family it's very important for me to teach him that godly tradition is for us to make sure that important truths get passed on from generation to generation we can see it in second timothy 2 and verse 2 it says this you have heard me teach things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses now teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. That's what the scripture says. A part of progressing through life is beginning to share the things that we learn along the way. Let's find a way to pass on the valuable things in our head. Yeah, your wisdom, your knowledge, your understanding. Find a, find a way to pass on those valuable things. 
so that when the time comes, we can confidently echo 2 Timothy 4 and verse 17, which says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Hmm. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. At the end of tonight, note down the most important thing that you've learned throughout the day. Are you hearing me tonight? At the end of this night, at the end of this program, get a piece of paper and write down the most important thing that you've learned throughout today, today. And sometime next week, find an opportunity to share at least one of these things, one of these things with somebody else. That is your assignment. Find a way to write down something that you learned today. Date mark it for today. Put, put, a, put a time stamp on it. That today I learned this or I learned that. And sometime next week, pray over it. And sometime next week, find an opportunity to share at least one of those things, my brothers and sisters, at least one of those things with someone else. Legacy the word tonight. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I have kept the faith. And so, Father, we thank you again for your word. And we thank you, Lord, for everything that you've said to us tonight in this word. We pray, God, that you will continue to bless your word to our hearts. And let them purify our souls. In Jesus' name we pray. And we say amen and amen. I have fought the fight. The good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 7. God bless you tonight.